Hey there, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take apart to replace the screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. All right, so you may have damaged your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix it. Before we get started, in order to do this repair, we're going to need a few tools. There's gonna to be a link down below in the description to this premium tool set so that you can perform this repair yourself. All right, so in order to begin the repair, the first step is we're gonna to have to power off the device. All right, once it is completely powered off, we're gonna to need to heat the phone up. So we're gonna to need to give it heat here on the back glass cover. It's gonna have some adhesive holding it in place. So we're gonna have to heat it up for a little bit. You can use a hair dryer, a heat gun, or you can sit it on a hot plate, which is what I use. There's gonna be links down below as well in the description to all the tools and parts that I use in this video. So if you're gonna use a hair dryer or a heat gun, make sure that you move it around consistently, never staying in the same spot for too long so that you don't burn the inside of the phone. Continue doing that for about a minute until it is too hot to touch for more than a second. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the hot plate, which is what I use. It's this one right here. I set it to about a hundred degrees Celsius and leave it on there for about a minute or two All right So what we're gonna need is these rubber gloves so that we don't burn ourselves when holding the phone All right, so looks like the phone is hot enough now without these gloves I would be burning myself holding it So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need this suction cup Which comes in the toolkit and we're gonna place it down here towards the bottom of the back cover where the charging port is And we're gonna pull up gently on it until we see a slight opening as you can see it's slightly opening up and once you see that opening we can stick a plastic prying tool in there or the card that comes with your tool set which is gonna look like this and we can just stick it in there and start to move it around to remove the adhesive that's holding down the back glass cover and another thing that you can do if you don't have this card if you don't get the toolkit you can just use a regular business card, just fold it in half to make it more solid. It's gonna look like this. And then you can use this side to get in there as well, like this. And then once you have part of the back cover removed, we can go ahead and remove the suction cup. Place this card over here to hold it open on this side. If you feel that the phone is cooling down, what you can do is just place it for a little bit longer on the hot plate or use the hair dryer or heat gun for a little bit longer to loosen up the adhesive. All right, so once you heat it up a little bit longer, let's go ahead and continue. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. So once you see that the bottom part starts lifting up around this much, you're, you're pretty much set. You can go ahead and lift up on the back cover gently like that. And, uh, and yeah, and it will come out completely in one piece. Let's go ahead and remove this. And it's gonna have some adhesive here at the top. So you can just go like that and peel that off. And there you go. There is your back cover for your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I'm gonna go ahead and take the gloves off now since we're not gonna be heating up the phone. So let's take a look at the back of the phone here so that we can take a look at all the components. So here we have the wireless charging pad and it connects right here. And down here, we're gonna have the loudspeaker over here on this side. Charger port is gonna be under the loudspeaker module right here. And then here we have the four cameras, the flash. So next step is we're gonna need to remove all of these screws holding down these covers up here so first off we're going to remove the screws holding down the this top housing piece the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust and let's go ahead and remove the pieces down here for the loudspeaker and bottom portion of the phone All right, there we go. So next up, we're gonna be disconnecting this cable right here for the wireless charging pad, and we're gonna go ahead and peel it back. It's gonna be held down by a little bit of adhesive, but no worries, you can just peel it off. And then next up, we're gonna be lifting up on the bottom plastic piece here for the loudspeaker, and we're going to gently pry up on it. It is held down by some clips, but it should come off pretty easily. And there you go. 
And this is the loudspeaker and the wireless charging pad. Let's place this over here to the side. All right, so next up, we're gonna be removing these two screws right here, holding down this metal bracket. And then we can go ahead and remove the bracket. And there you go, it will come out very simply like that. And next up, we're gonna disconnect the battery flex cable to remove electricity flowing through the phone, which is this one right here. So let's go ahead and disconnect it. We're just gonna pry up on it and lift it up. And there you go. Next up, we're gonna remove this cable right here, which is for the the screen assembly as you can see it goes in through right down here towards the bottom and it fits in here so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that and this is the cable that connects to the entire screen of the Galaxy S20 Ultra so there are two ways to replace this screen on your Samsung Galaxy S20 or S20 Ultra one way is to just buy the uh, screen assembly by itself without the frame and if you order that there's gonna be links down below in the description but if you order that then all you have to do is get up to this step disconnect the screen cable right here you're gonna heat it up once again here on around the screen you're gonna remove the old screen do it gently so you don't damage anything inside the phone but you know no one need to worry about breaking the screen because it's already broken anyways and you're replacing it so you're gonna order just the glass screen assembly with the AMOLED display and you're gonna stick the cable in through the small hole down here and you're gonna position it correctly here on top of the frame and it's gonna come with some adhesive that you're just gonna give it some pressure and hold it down until it glues. The other thing we can do to replace the screen is we can order the these entire screen assembly with the frame as well, with the metal frame. And in order to do that, then we'll just have to take the phone apart completely. So let's continue. So next up, let's go ahead and remove this upper plastic piece up here. Lift up on it gently and it will come right out. Let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables here connecting to the bottom charger port. And let's go ahead and disconnect this flex cable right here and this one right here as well for the power button. And let's go ahead and disconnect this one on this side as well. So now that most of the flex cables are disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and remove a couple more Phillips head screws holding down different parts of the phone. So we're gonna remove these two right here. We're gonna remove this one over here holding down this uh, metal camera module piece. And we're gonna remove this one up here holding this upper camera module. And then now we're gonna remove these screws holding down the bottom charging port section. So it's gonna have three screws down here. Let's just disconnect the cables completely to move them out of the way. So let's put this one over here to the side and this one as well. And uh, one more thing that you're gonna wanna do, make sure you don't forget this, is to remove the SIM card and SD card tray. We're also gonna need to remove this flex cable right here. This is for the selfie camera and we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this. And then once you have that out and all of the small Phillips head screws removed, we can go ahead and pry up on the motherboard. So how we're gonna do this is with a plastic thin prying tool. We're gonna wedge between the metal frame here and the motherboard. We're gonna wedge it in there carefully and just pry up on it gently like that. And you're gonna see that it's gonna lift up a little bit. Once you see it lift up like that, you can go ahead and grab it with your fingers gently and wiggle it around so that it will be released from the frame of the phone. So just wiggle it around carefully. And there you go. The motherboard will come out completely in one piece with all of its cameras. And there is your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra motherboard. So let's go ahead and place this to the side. So next up, uh, we're gonna be removing the small pieces here that are on the frame of the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So let's go ahead and do the front camera. The front selfie camera is gonna be held down over here. So you're gonna have to kinda give it pressure here gently with a plastic prying tool. So we're gonna have to give it some pressure here and it's gonna lift up gently like that. And then once you see that it's out a little bit, you can go ahead and grab it and wiggle it out with your fingers and it will come out in one piece. Okay, so this right here is the ear speaker. So we're gonna be removing this up next. So to remove it, uh, we gotta get under it gently on the side over here, there's gonna be a slight opening where we can stick something under it there to gently pry up on it. And when you pry up on it gently, it will begin to lift up and then you can just grab it with your fingers and finish up lifting it up from the adhesive. And it will come out in one piece and this is the adhesive holding it down. So there are two more small Phillips head screws over here holding down this antenna. These are the 5G antennas. It's gonna have two of them, one on the left side and one on the right side. So next up to remove the antennas with the thin plastic prying tool, we're gonna wedge under this little metal side piece right here that has a uh, hole for a small Phillips head screw. You can actually wedge under it and lift up on it gently 
and it will come out in one piece. So that is one of the antennas here. Let's place that on the side. And for the bottom antenna here, you can actually just grab onto the flex cable and lift up on it gently. Make sure you do it very carefully so that you don't rip the cable, but it does come out fairly easily. And let's put this one to the side. Next up, we're gonna be removing the volume and power button rocker, and it's gonna have this flex cable right here. But in order to remove the rocker, we're gonna need to wedge under the slight opening down here, under the flex cable, with something plastic, and lift up on it. All right, so in order to lift it up, we're gonna need something kind of solid and thin. So you can use uh, your small Phillips head screwdriver and just wedge it under this corner right here of the metal piece and you're gonna gently lift up on it and it will lift up as you can see it's lifting up once you have it lifted up a little bit like that you can just grab it with your finger and continue lifting it up completely there you go comes out in one piece put it together over here nice and neat so next up we're gonna be removing the bottom charging port so the three screws are off so it should be very simple all you got to do is grab your plastic prying tool and gently wedge under it and lift up on it and then you can just pull it out and the charger port will come out super easily like that in one piece. And then we're gonna have vibrator motor down here. We're gonna need to lift that up as well. In order to lift it up, it's gonna have a small opening right here on this side. You can stick something solid in there like your Phillips head screwdriver and lift up on it gently and slowly so it comes out in one piece. Then you can lift it up with your fingers and there you have your vibrator motor. So we are pretty much almost done. All we gotta do is remove the battery now. In order to remove the battery, we're gonna need to give it heat here on the screen because there is some adhesive on the frame here of the device holding the battery down. So we can do it with a hairdryer heat gun, give it heat right here, moving it around or set it on the hot plate which is what I like to do for about a minute or two so let's do that now we're gonna go ahead and grab the device and we're gonna use a plastic prying tool to lift up on the battery we're gonna give it some pressure between the metal frame right here on the bottom of the phone and the battery and we're gonna lift it upwards we're gonna gently lift up on it on all sides and as you can see it's already lifting up so once you see that you can go ahead and grab it uh, with your hands and remove the battery and there is your battery for your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra it does have a little bit of adhesive right here as you can see so there you go the phone is completely taken apart and if you watched up to this point of the video go ahead and smash that like button it really helps me out a lot now all you're gonna have to do is reassemble and put all the pieces back together in reverse order so let's do that now so let's start with the 5g antennas over here this one first go ahead and place the volume and power button rockers so it goes like this when you're putting it back together make sure you put it back the right way we're gonna go ahead and grab the frame and place it in here and then we're just gonna give it a little bit of pressure so that it can fall back in its place and then just make sure that the buttons click properly perfect so let's continue next up the other 5g antenna let's go ahead and place the vibrator motor towards the bottom which goes right here place the loudspeaker up here the front camera you might have to give it some pressure inwards so that it can fall in its place and then just squeeze it down gently what else so let's go ahead and place the charger ports back in once you have all of these small pieces back on the frame we can go ahead and place the motherboard so the motherboard, we're gonna move the flex cables out of the way and we're gonna slide it right in like this. The top portion first, and then we're gonna let it gently fall. And then we're gonna just give it a little bit of pressure to push it downwards in its place. And there we go. Then we can go ahead and place the battery back in its place right here. And then we can go ahead and disconnect all of these small flex cables back on. But don't connect the battery just yet. Let's go ahead and connect the screen flex cable. Then we can go ahead and place the flex cable that connects the bottom charger port to the main motherboard. And then this small flex cable that also connects to the motherboard. And then once you have all of the flex cables connected, then we can go ahead and connect the battery flex cable. Then we can go ahead and place the top portion piece back on. So now we're just gonna go ahead and place this metal bracket back on. We're gonna place it, position it where it was, which is right here like this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and place the small Phillips head screws back onto this metal frame here. And we're gonna place the screws to hold down the antenna here as well. Um, so next up, let's go ahead and place the screws on the bottom charger port over here. There's gonna be three screws. So once the three screws are uh, placed on the bottom charger port, we can go ahead and place the uh, 
bottom loudspeaker and the wireless charging pad on here. So we're gonna go ahead and this black plastic piece on first, give it some pressure so that I can clip back into place. And then we can go ahead and connect the wireless charging pad flex cable up here. And then now what we're gonna have to do is uh, just continue placing all of these small Phillips head screws back on. Once all of the small Phillips head screws are back on, we are ready to place the back glass cover back on. Uh, once you have your back cover ready like this, uh, just make sure that the adhesive is positioned properly around all the corners of the uh, back cover so that it can glue back onto the frame. So once you check it out, make sure there's no screws or any pieces of glass on the uh, back cover. Um, also inspect the back of your Galaxy S20 device. Make sure there is no pieces of glass or anything around the frame here. Uh, then you can go ahead and just place the back cover back on. So just position it properly. Uh, you can position one of the corners first like this. Uh, make sure that the corner goes in there as it's supposed to. Then the top and then the rest of the back. And then once you feel that it is positioned on there properly, just give it pressure, squeeze down on it on all sides so that it can adhere to the back frame of the device. And there you go. Let's go ahead and place the Simon SD back in the device. And there you go. Your Samsung Galaxy S20 is now repaired and you're ready to power it on. I hope this video helped you out. That is how you replace the front screen assembly on your Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So once again, go ahead and give this video a like if it helps you out. That is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. And as always, peace.